Hey everybody, this is Ryan. I'm gonna give you an overview of this ZL1. ZL1, I can't even pronounce it. Gun safe. Now, full disclosure, this company reached out to me and said, Ryan, can you please give us one of your detailed overviews and reviews? of our gun safe, who am I to say no? So this will not negatively nor positively affect my review in any way whatsoever. Let's get into it. So this is a single gun, a pistol, pistol gun safe. It comes all nice and neat and secure in the foam padding. To speed things up, I have actually uh, taken it out and here it is. This is it, nice and compact. This is not for a rifle, this is for a pistol. Um, now, for privacy reasons, I'm not going to show a pistol in this video, um, but I'm gonna show you how this thing works. Now, this thing is heavy. Uh, this is definitely a, a uh, solid piece of machinery, a safe, so I can just tell by just picking it up. I mean, it's got some it's got some weight to it. So this is uh, definitely on the legit scale. And there's so many features, but I've been playing around this thing a little bit to see exactly how hard or easy it is to work. And I wanna highlight some things for you that I think might just help. So it comes with two keys. It's all nice and sealed up here. And um, so, so that's cool. So it definitely comes with a key. I haven't taken this part off right here, but this protective feature um, comes off as far as this nice, actually, I'll just take it out. I just take it out because it doesn't look good. You know, so you have a nice black finish. That's a nice gloss finish. You have five buttons here for a code. So you can put a, uh, a combination in there. So you have a key option, a combination option, and then you have a fingerprint option here as well. So you have three different ways to access this based on your level of security that you want and more importantly your convenience you know so if you're in a situation where you need to get to your uh weapon of choice that's in here you don't have to think oh i can't find my key oh man i forgot the code you know you do have the option of using a fingerprint or you could just not even use anything except the fingerprint you know so you have a couple different options there as far as that is concerned this is a this is advertised as a wall mounted safe it comes with a plate that looks like this, and it comes with uh, mounting hardware. So, you know, depending on where you wanna mount it in the wall, uh, there are options here to put it in, you know, like sheetrock. If you're worried, somebody's gonna rip this off the wall and get away with it. Um, I would take that in consideration to how you're mounting it. <clears throat> Once this is mounted though, you don't have access to the um, you know the screws you know so for example this plate using this box as an example if this was your wall and you wanted to mount this you're going to mount it against the wall like this and then the safe is going to be mounted up against it like this you know so once the safe's on there you can't access the screws to, to even get this you would literally have to figure out a way to pry this off the wall and if you screwed this into like studs you know wood studs that's going to be a big pain you know for somebody to try to take this from you uh from a compact standpoint this thing is pretty small and tight so if you're wanting exact size dimensions you're looking at this would be the top in my opinion so nine inches this way it's only two and a half inches. It's only two and a half inches wide. And it is right at 12 inches tall, you know? So it's nice and, and tight as far as where you might want to put this. Uh, and it is, it definitely is heavy. You know, so how, what all the other features you have? So on the back here, now again, depending on how you want to mount this, you have a battery backup because there is the, the digital, this is all electronic, uh, this is electronic, and then your uh, fingerprint is also electronic. So you have a four pack battery pack. The batteries do not come with it. You know, slides right in, nice and tight, snaps in there. And then you have a way to charge. You provided a USB-C to USB, and you would plug that in right here. <clears throat> 
And so you can see if you saw, if you heard that beep, it's now connected to a uh, power. This is not necessary, but if you want to have it permanently, you know, plugged in, uh, you have that option as well besides the whole battery backup. All right. That's all really cool. Now, now how do you access this thing? Well, from a demonstration standpoint, I've already put in a code. So watch this just using the code. This pops out pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's do that again. We'll use my finger this time. So I've already programmed this with my finger. That's pretty cool. It's definitely solid. So there's a nice solid spring in there. Um, there's also a light. There's also a light inside. So when it opens up, if this was in a, um, you know, somewhere dark, whatever, a closet or somewhere you wanted to have it kind of, you know, hidden, you, you have that option as well. You know, so you have your combo here, uh, you have your fingerprint here, and then you also have the key right here. Turn it, it pops open. And that's, and that's pretty solid, pretty solid. Now, if you don't like hearing the audible tone, you know, maybe just from a, um, just your preference, you can, with a, with a push of a button, you can turn off the, the audio uh, beeping sound just to make things a little bit, you know, quieter. You know, maybe if you're afraid, maybe there's an intruder in your house and you don't want to alert them to your presence, you do have an opportunity of, of turning off that audio. I will say though, when it pops out, um, you would have to, you would have to hold your hand here to let it come out really, really slow. Otherwise it's going to, you know, pop out, which, which as you probably heard from the video does make some noise, you know, so what, what would be all the different ways you'd want to mount this? You could do it in a closet. You could do it on the wall. You could even do this, let's just say under bed. So if your bed, if you want it very close proximity, if the, if underneath your bed was flat or you had something to bolt and you could bolt this in, um, you could either do it on this side or you could do it on this side. So you have a lot of customization as far as where you want to put this. You can mount it vertical, horizontal. It really doesn't matter uh, how, because once this is screwed into the wall, let me unplug this. Once this is unscrewed into the wall, it's not going anywhere, you know? So let's just say this was your bed and you wanted it mounted underneath your bed. You could have it to where it would shoot out this way and you could easily um, access your, your, uh, your firearm. Now, if we're to pop this open, inside, as far as your your uh, <clears throat> your firearms concerned, you have this uh, very soft cushioned uh, material to where this part right here is a little bit deeper than this part. So you have uh, a clip. I would say this would be for a clip, a backup clip, a second clip, and then your actual you know your your pistol would go right there. So if this was your gun you would stick it in like this, and then the handle would be right here to grab and pull right out. Again, for privacy reasons, I'm not gonna use an actual uh, firearm in this example, and then you'd have your backup clip here as well. So from a taking care of your firearm standpoint and making sure it's not only, it's secure, it's not rattling around, you have some cushioning, it's soft, you're not gonna scratch it up if that's a concern, that is all good to go. You know, <clears throat> so in summary, if you are looking for something that's compact, you're looking for something from a security standpoint that can be that can be hidden has a lot of different options as far as accessing you can put a couple different codes in here i think up to 20 different codes uh, you can put in here you can have multiple people uh in your household or whatever your company your business whatever have different um uh, uh, fingerprint access here you have two keys you have the battery backup you can it can be hardwired as i mentioned there you know so you have power and then at night, it has a built-in light that's on the inside of this. Again, a lot of different options, and it's it's definitely, definitely durable. Um, hopefully that answers all your questions, and we'll talk to you soon.